Hi. What do we have here? My first compressor. Perhaps we ought to open it. See what is inside. to get out. Alright, oh, we got it out. Let's see what this is all about. Uh -huh. It's sitting on the valve under there, so I guess I've got to put some of these bits on. Wheels obviously. They're going to go at the back. all for but we'll have a look and see I guess they're the two front feet hmm okay I've got a couple of packs of well this is just a standard set of bits um, for blowing an airline and just a blowing gun different nozzles and then a two-way connector Okay, that just needs a span at the tighten them up. Which sure I will do in a minute. I just wanted to put them on loosely to get it off of that valve for the moment. I'll have a read of these. I don't normally, but I think I ought to on this. See what other bits I've got to do before starting it up. And we'll come back. Okay, well that was quite easy. We've just put them on. According to the instructions, you need three spanners, open-ended, 12, 13, and 14. That was quite easy to do those. Um, you have to put on the air filter 
you take out, they've got a bung in there, you take that bung out, put the air filter in, um, the oil filler cap, that again has got a little bung in, you take that out, put the oil filler cap on, check your oil level through here, and it says a minimum maximum level, but I cannot see anywhere it says minimum maximum, but it's halfway along the gauge. I guess that's it. This apparently is the on off switch. This little red button here. And you pull it up for on, push down for off. So it appears to be ready to go. Shall we see? Everything else apparently, like the vessel pressure and everything, is preset at the factory, so it should be a case of just turn it on. the gauge and that's cut out just as it hit the red line so <laughs> it's a noisy little beast isn't it probably worse because <laughs> it's up on the bench but uh, okay that's fully charged how can we usually get into this then
So in here we've got several bits, not sure what they're all for. I suppose that's an inflator for like air beds. Pass. <laughs> no. Uh, that looks like it could be tyres. These are like needle ones for I suppose for a football or something. I guess they're more air bed things. Or large inflatables. And then we've got a couple of these needles. Oh, that doesn't fit in there. But that does. Okay. So that's what they're used for. And I guess these other ones go on to here. Sure, that is a thread on there. I think that's just something just to hold that in there. So that's what that's for for them to screw on. Okay. into there. That's good. Well, this is the bit I'm more after. I only really want this for blowing down, blowing down things. It's got a lot of pressure in it. all right 79.99 I believe we'll give it some use and we'll come back and tell you more about it whether it was any good or not right, there's a perfect little fit down there under my lathe just where I wanted it and the little hole I left for it that was always intentional believe me it was for a little compressor to go in and it's a good fit so i'm happy with that thanks for watching